guys, what's up? It's your boy Pokemon Tall back with another YouTube video for you guys on the channel. Today's video is going to be us looking at the new FIFA 22 Bundesliga player rating. So without further ado, I suggest we get right into the video. Right then, guys, welcome back to the video. We can now have a look at the FIFA 22 Bundesliga player ratings. Let's go. So some of the best ones so far. We've got Witzel, who's the 83 overall CDM with 61 pace. I thought the guy was a bit faster. I love the image. They've used of Witzel, bro. That his hair is nuts, as it always is or ha always has been. But yeah, we've got Hadekia 83. We've got an 83 Luker Hernandez with 77 pace, man. That card is gonna look juicy for my starter squad. Yes, it is. Squadron, let's go. Angelino, 83 rated. Maybe, in my opinion, a bit overrated as a left back from the Bundesliga. But you guys know, Bundesliga ain't that competitive. So it's probably quite easy to get a high rated card. There we go, Dan. Weghorst, 83. My man's been killing it so far in the Champions League. Shout out goes out to the Netherlands for that one. My guy, Weghorst, I've got my eye on you, but I hope you get some awesome cards during FIFA 22 because you definitely deserve it. Cramrich, again, 83. Standard. Same as last FIFA. Leroy Sane, 84? I think that's a bit harsh. I mean, he's very injury prone. Hasn't probably played that much for Bayern Munich. I haven't been watching the Bundesliga as much over the last couple of years. Uh, even though I've been living in my own place now for over a year and a bit and have been able to. It's just not really that interested in the Bundesliga anymore. I'm a Premier League guy. Man you. So you guys know me. Anyhow, Leroy Sane, 84, 90 pace, 85 dribbling, 81 shooting, 79 passing. I meant 90 pace, by the way. And 68 fizz. So the card isn't actually too bad, but it's also, it's a, it's a good card for a starter squad, for sure. I reckon the card price range will be between 75 to 120k starting price when the game comes out. Luca Guerrero, Luca Guerrero, Rafael Guerrero, 75 pace, 88 dribbling, 77 shooting, 76 defending, 85 passing, 58 fizz. Looks like an all-round great card, but for a left-back, 58 physicality is a bit weak in my opinion obviously let me know in the comments down below what you guys think but i certainly will not be using this card as my starter squad player ginter 62 pace 66 dribbling 58 shooting 86 defending 72 passing 79 fizz again awesome 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 card won't be making it to my squad unfortunately because of the pace it's just a bit too slow it's like having Maguire in defense you can't be doing that they've got andre silva with an awesome card 84 shooting I'm surprised he's got an 84 rated card. I mean, apparently he's been doing well for Leipzig, so I'm happy for him. It's awesome to see, especially coming from, I think he I think he transferred from AC Milan. Obviously, correct me if I'm wrong again in the comments, but awesome again, sick card. Then we've got Luca. Why do I keep calling people Luca? We've got Philip Kostic. Oh my boy, my Stuttgart boy. I loved watching him at Stuttgart when he played for Stuttgart, man. It's so sad that he doesn't play for us anymore, but he's been doing okay. I say he's doing okay. He's been average or let's say decent at, 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 at uh, 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 at Frankfurt. So 88 pace, 83 driven, 77 shooting, 68 defending, 82 pass, and 80 fizz. Good, good card to start your, yourself off with if you're looking for a good pacey uh, left mid slash left wing for your starter squad in FIFA 22. So I'd keep my eye out on him. I reckon 20 to 30k max price range for him. I don't think he's going to be that, that wanted. Then we've got the newly transferred Marcel Zabitza. Yes, my guy moved from Leipzig to Bayern Munich. Man sold out to the Munich. And I think he just wanted to rejoin his uh, former manager, Julian Nagelsmann at Bayern Munich, which I can understand. So for me, that makes perfectly good sense that he has actually moved. He was an awesome player for Leipzig. Very good player in that centre mid box, the box centre mid role for them. I would have liked to have seen him at United, but it never actually come to happen. But on the card, 84 overall. Another Austrian that's 84 overall that played for Bayern Munich. Who's the last Austrian that uh, did that? My guy, David Alaba. But we've got 78 pace, 80 dribbling, 84 shooting, 67 defending, 81 passes, 78 players. Again, if you're looking for a centre mid or a potential cam to start yourselves out with your starter squads, he is insane. I'm going to say about 75 to 100k. A starting price range for him like what market price for him because i reckon he'll be a card that a lot of people are gonna try and get right we can move on to the big boys to the gks jan zoma and peter gulassi i hope i've pronounced gulassi correctly let me know again in the comments if there's anything you guys want to correct me with obviously leave it in the comments because i'm down to read them i always read my comments but Jan Zoma, 79 diving, 86 reflexes, 81 handling, 50 speed, 80, uh, 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 
84 kicking and 86 positioning. Awesome card. He, the guy's been doing sick for um, for Gladbach ever since he took over Mark Andre to Stegen's role at Gladbach as their number one GK. And uh, honestly, sick GK. That's all I can really say. Gulassi, ex Liverpool goalkeeper, obviously. 85 diving, 86 reflexes, 84 handling, 43 speed, 76 uh, kicking, and 82 positioning again not a bad card it's, it's just the same pretty much the same card he had in fifa 21 though so not much different on him my guy oh i can't oh, i can't just for how much love i have for marco royce but yes marco royce is the don for me he is the guy who i it's like my favorite player from the bundesliga man i just love marco royce and the fact he's got another 85 rated card Oh, man, it, it makes me happy. It makes me so sick. Oh, so sick to see. I fucking love Royce. Anyhow, 73 pace, 85 dribbling, 84 shooting, 47 defending, 84 passing, 16 physicality. On this Marco Royce Cam, 85 rated card. And I'd say definitely get him in your squad. I know I will be because he's my number one guy. I'll be doing a Road to Glory series where I'm going to be uh, building a team around him for the start of FIFA 22. Let me know if you guys are hyped to see that. In the comments i can't wait to start but i this is a card that i'm gonna want and i hope he's not gonna be too expensive please please be for gods please don't make him too expensive and yeah we move on to serge Na <laughs> serge nabri 85 overall right mid 83 pace 86 dribbling 84 shooting 43 defending 79 passing 69 physicality again my guy awesome awesome guy in real life that man's got the sauce my guy's got it he is an awesome right mid i think he deserves a bit more pace because he is very quick man's the afro 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 jack of bayern munich so yeah my opinion deserves an 86 and deserves 87 plus pace then we've got king di Coman. No, 86 overall i think this should have been swapped i think nabu deserves the 86 and command deserves the 85 but again let me know in the comments what you guys think but we've got command 86 overall 93 pace 88 dribbling 76 shooting 30 defending 79 passes 60 fits do you know what this card reminds me of comments it reminds me of a former the french left mid that used to play for bayern munich goes by the name of frank ribery he reminds me of that it's bringing back the ribery-esque vibe to bayern munich and you love to see it okay skin color doesn't match the complexion but you know what it doesn't matter. Let's go. Former, kind of like bringing back the old with a bit of the new flair is great to see. Then we've got Kuhn Castils, the Belgian goalkeeper for Wolfsburg, who I don't understand how, 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 how have you done this? Giving him an 86 rated card, going from an 83 to an 86 in one game. That's flipping ridiculous. But he's obviously done a madness for Wolfsburg, helping him get into the Champions League and that. So it's great to see 85 diving, 87 reflexes, 83 handling, 45 speed, 80 kicking, and 84 position. Me, in my opinion, I wouldn't put him. I wouldn't put him higher than Galaski, but or Galashi. But at the end of the day, it's EA. They've got to know how they want to rate their players. Then, getting down to the last stages, to the better cards, we got Mats Hummels and Thomas Thomas Müller. So Mats Hummels is is a former German international, great player. Always rated him. Um, Oh, I can't say I always rated him. I just found he sold out to Munich and then came back to Dortmund because he realized he just, he just wasn't at the level that Munich needed him to be at. But yes, 86 overall. Same, pretty much, I'm not going to read out the stats on that because it's pretty much the same card they had in FIFA 21. So just an updated image maybe on that one. Then Thomas Muller again, he had an 87. No, actually, he's, he's actually got a plus one because Thomas Muller's card in FIFA 21 was 86. So... We are going to read out the stats on this one. So it's an 87 rated cam, 67 pace, 80 dribbling, 84 shooting, 56 defending, 83 passing, 71 fizz. My guy with this banana foot, I can't believe it. He's gained himself another rating. Insane. Let's go. Then we go to the guy who has just signed a contract with Bayern Munich till 2026. My guy, Leon Goretzka, who was so close to actually signing for United in the tra uh, summer transfer window, which is and in one of the best transfer windows I've ever seen, in my opinion. From a football point of view, the amount of players that moved, incredible. Once to watch, it's going to be nuts. But anyhow, let's get into this guy's card. He's got an 87 overall. 87 Oh my god. Oh my god. The card looks amazing. Let's get into it. 81 pace, 84 dribbling, 82 shooting, 81 defending, 82 passing, 86. Physicality. Hulit gang. We found it. We've got it. We've got it on the card. Hulit gang stats. I would like to see Rude Hulit's card, his base icon card, and compare it to that. Because I think Gareth could give him run for his money. Anyhow, we come to the boy, the man, the myth, the legend, the guy who everyone thinks is a robot, is a machine. Erling Braut Haaland, 88 overall, 
he deserves an 89 to 90 overall in my opinion but again i'm a, I'm a biased Dortmund fan here what am i gonna say <laughs> anyhow 89 pace 80 dribbling 91 shooting 45 defending, 65 passing, 88 physicality. The guy is just an absolute unit, absolute machine. And I reckon he's going to be 150k plus to try and get off the market within the first couple of weeks of FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. And then we're going to the last couple of cards. We've got Joshua Kimmich and Manuel Neuer. Joshua Kimmich, or Joshua Kimmich, as a lot of the Americans or British people call him. He has got an insane card. Obviously, again, another player from the Stuttgart U system. We have a sit U system over there, and it's so good to see. But anyhow, Joshua Kimmich, 89 CDM. Oi, 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 oi. What a beautiful card he's got. 70 pace, 84 dribbling, 73 shooting, 83 defending, 86 passing, 79 fits. Again, a sick card for a sick player. Enough said on that one. Like, it's Joshua Kimmich. We, you say Kimmich, everyone knows who you're on about. The guy's an insane player. And I reckon he's he's on the same level, or if not even better, as a once iconic Philip Lahm. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys actually agree with me on that one. Because that, that can be classed as controversial. But I do think he's got some of the... He's got a lot of the Lahm vibe. Being able to play... Okay, not left back, but right back. And then also being able to play CDM. Like, he's incredible. The versatility on him, he's insane. He's such a good player. Then we've got Manuel Neuer. Again, with a 90 rated card. Back to his 90 overall after being out of it for a year. I mean, you guys have seen the stats on, on screen. It's ridiculous. So, that's all I'm going to say on that. I mean, I'm not a biggest fan of Manuel Neuer after what happened in uh, the 2014 World Cup. No, sorry. After what happened in 2010 World Cup. South Africa? Yeah. Okay. Anyhow, then we've got... Robert Lewandowski, 92 rated card, the guy who's actually higher rated than Ronaldo this year. Um, I've got a couple things to say on that. I don't think he should be higher rated uh, than Ronaldo. I think he should be on the same level as Ronaldo, but he had a 91 rated card last FIFA, so it does make sense to bump up to a 92 after the season that he has had. Literally winning pretty much everything with Bayern Munich that he can win and just outscoring the whole league, but... I mean, to be fair, it's not hard if you're at Bayern Munich because you buy out the league if you're Munich. But it's fine. That's a discussion to, have, uh, to be had on another day. But anyhow, 78 pace, 86 dribbling, 92 shooting, 44 defending, 79 passing, 82 fizz. I reckon this card is going to be 250k, 250k minimum all the way up to like 400k in the first week or first one or two weeks of FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. So with that being said, that is going to be it for the big, big, bigger ratings of the Bundesliga players that have just been announced by EA on their Twitter and on their website. So you guys have liked this video. Please hit the like button. Just get ready. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see another one of these videos very, very soon. And I'll See you guys on my next one. Peace.